What's the word, y'all? It's your boy Jay Science, and I'm back. Today is one of those days where I jump in my Discord and I jump in my little suggestions tab, right? And I just, you know, I start to look at what people ask for. You feel me? So this one is kind of similar to one that I've already did. This is a little dark flicker, little hot spots transition. You feel me? I don't really know how to label this, but y'all see what's going on here. Let's jump straight into this. First of all, we're gonna start with the slow motion. So I'm just gonna grab some Twitter, right? And my footage is 23.976. So if yours is different, I suggest you match your settings. You feel me? So let me just add a Twitter. And also you can find this in my pack. You feel what I'm saying? I got a preset strictly with these same keyframes on it. So let me set the speed to 100. I'm gonna like cut it here and take Twitter off this clip. Come here and I'm gonna have this first keyframe at 100 up here and the middle one at 55 and the last one at like 10. I'm gonna press U and I'm gonna easy ease those keyframes come into the graph mode and I'm gonna just make this slow, you feel me? I'll just show you real quick how we do on this. Like, feel me? And now in between these two clips, I'm gonna just grab me a nice little shake, right? I mean, I'm gonna just use one of my shakes from my pack, you feel me? Cause uh, yeah. If you want this shake, you could just go grab you the Drill Essentials pack, you feel me? It's right there up on the website. All you gotta do is hit the link in the description. You feel me? And then, you know, all you gotta do now after you have a shake is, let's just add an adjustment layer and let's add hot spots to that. All right, and usually the value was already set to 0 0.7, but we're gonna set it to zero. And we're gonna build up those keyframes from the middle of the clip that we already have slowed down. So when it's already getting slow, we can have it here. And let's just bring it over here. And let's just bring it to one. And we can easy ease those, F9, come into the graph editor, and we can just, yeah, get up out of there. Now you're thinking, all right, how do I track his face, right? All right, so let's pre-comp this. I'm gonna solo it. I'm gonna add Mocha. All right, and when I add Mocha to this, I'm gonna track his face. I'm gonna save this, X out of this, and now I'm going to make a shape. So make sure you don't have any um, layers selected. And you take this little square, and let's just make a little shape around his face. And let's come into the settings of this same shape layer, and let's keep the stroke, right? And let's get rid of the fill. So let's just bring down the opacity on the fill, and let's just up the stroke width and change the color to whatever we want. And if you want, if you want to fix these caps, honestly do what you want. Change these settings, the bevel, bevel join, all kind of stuff. So now you want to take that same shape layer and trim it to the same size as your clip that has mocha on it, all right? Trim that join. Maybe even make it a little bit smaller. You can scale it up and down like this. Come into the contents of the rectangle. And inside of the rectangle path, you could change the scale like this. So yeah, don't don't touch the regular scale on the shape layer. So now that you have that shit, let's just hit this pan behind tool. Let's have our shape selected and let's bring this to the center of the shape. So now if we click that, and we bring that track data from Mocha and then we attach it that way. Ah, it's in the middle, you feel what I'm saying? And now look, yeah, it's tracked to his face. So now all you gotta do from there is take that same shape layer. Let's put it under the adjustment layers because remember we have effects on those layers and we want everything to be stacked. And we're just gonna add hmm, optical flow. You feel me? We're gonna come in here, generate, extend and unmult. And let's bring the size up and let's bring down the amount. Feel me? And if you want, now you can animate this by coming into 
the settings which is the actual scale and you see how the information from the mocha is only working with the position scale and rotation so you can still come into the contents right and if you want to like animate this in you could uh come to the stroke or come to the rectangle path overall and just like come here press the uh, stopwatch and then come to the beginning and just bring down the scale to like zero both axes press u on your keyboard just to see all those keyframes f9 them babies and just look. if you want that transition to happen with the hot spots you could honestly keep the same stuff right keep all the same stuff that you have with the hot spots and you just extend that same adjustment layer you bring this to the middle you come to the middle of your second clip while your adjustment layer is highlighted and you just bring that value back down to zero you come into the grapha yeah and then boom transition that out and and i'm now i'm gonna just complement this with some flicker just malaya flicker as soon as the shake happens that's when the flick is gonna pop up feel me and then yeah that's how y'all do that honestly this looks exactly the same it's the thing that's going on inside of my yeah. um shout out to the kid who asked me to do this mr clerk clerk and shout out the person that he's following which is ign you feel me i can't leave that person out because <laughs> yeah peace out man if y'all enjoyed this drop a like comment subscribe and i will definitely be back with another tutorial you feel what i'm saying so, yeah peace out